Hey, it's Finn Commit. I'm back for another Paleo Tour. I'm here with Frozen Bites on Paleotopia. Wow, that's that's one hell of a name. How are you doing today? Doing fantastic. How about you? Oh, that's awesome. I totally dig your outfit, man. That is epic. I'm just kind of keeping festive. Yeah, that's right. I am. Uh, I'm just kind of doing a little pan around. I love how you've you've used all the trees and everything, and I think it's kind of interesting. You got like a house on either side, but you know what? Hey, you're the expert here of your plot you're my tour guide where are we going all right let's go to the left on this trail over here nice i i one of the things i really appreciate is like i, I really appreciate people doing paths like that just kind of frame wherever we're going it's such a cool thing to see i absolutely agree this is cool very very cool what do we got here? Oh, hey. This is nice. So tell me about this room. This this room is pretty pretty decked out. Yeah, I wanted to do a little bit of the harvest look to it because it matches with the bug setup, kind of the leaves to the bug. So I kind of just, I have another, you'll see the other side here eventually, but I just wanted to make it look like a zoo slash cafe look. Wow. Yeah, you nailed it. It's really nice. Lots of bug catching. Yeah, tell me about it. This is really cool. I like how you have the presentation of everything and you totally made it look like a wall and get everything really nicely laid out and all the bugs are in unison, so. <laughs> I appreciate that, thank you. Yeah, no problem, no problem at all. Credit where credit is due. And one of the first things that I noticed about this place was your use of lighting. I really like these directional lights. I think that they they really do well for any kind of museum type build or anything that you're trying to showcase something. Most definitely, you want to bring a spotlight to your displays. That's the way I looked at it. Yeah. Now, if only they could have ground lights, that would be pretty cool. Yes, it would. I can't wait. I hope they do it. Yeah, I like I, I I really like how just how everything laid out you know behind the countertop. Yeah, it's my first trial. I, I definitely enjoy this game. Uh, a lot of the ideas that I've seen from others, and I kind of stole a few and did it my way. So it's just this was a little bit more of making it cozy. Yeah, no way. Nailed it. Cool. All right, you ready to go to the other side? Yes, sir. All right. I'm just, I'm, as you're bouncing around, I'm totally digging that outfit, man. That is just so epic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Rocket Man Biker Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that. <laughs> ah, this this room is cool. This room is so cool. So this is gonna be your your fish room, and I I like how just you have you have them set up on either sides of your plot you know some people just kind of have dedicated rooms but i mean with the new update how you can have multiple like homes and stuff like that just, I, I like that you turned you turned this into a really cool looking museum that frames either side of your plot and it's Absolutely. such a oh, oh go sorry ahead. go ahead go ahead i was saying with the harvest houses i was it was really excited to get them because then you have more ideas to make different themes. However, in my case, it made me a little bit more indecisive, though. So. Yeah. And it's such a simple thing, but, you know, this is the first time during a tour that I've seen a proper waiting area, you know? Like, just kind of how you have the, the chairs backed up uh, against each other. I saw a lobby in, in one of my earlier tours, so it's kind of a, a misspeech, but... You have the, the the chairs backed up against each other, and that's such a nice touch. <laughs> Target practice. Yeah, I figured I'd make it a like a bass pro shop, have the efficient <laughs> aquarium with the uh, deer hunting stuff. Just getting creative. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, too funny. I love it. All right. All right, I guess we'll start at the main entrance and walk down through there. Sweet. 
I like how you balance the uh, the lanterns on top of the barrels. I mean, it's it's such a nice little subtle thing, but it's really cool. Alright, so let's get a good good view this way. Interesting. I like I like you got the, the seating on the side and the the lanterns. Uh, yeah. Kinda like a meeting place of some sort before we go do something. Yeah, right. Well, that was the goal here to make it community wise, you know, where a bunch of people can come and do different things and just enjoy it. Wow. A lot to take in and we're gonna just we're gonna just uh take this in one bit at a time. Just check out this gazebo. Oh man, this is so cool. Really good use of lighting in here. How everything just laid out. It's always the hardest thing for me is just kind of where to put things, but I like this little chair in the back. Like, it, it it's such a small space, but it tells a story. It's like whoever is the host sits here and just kind of watches as everything, you know, goes down. Absolutely. Yeah. That was the goal, too. You nailed that one. <laughs> I, I, you know, I pick up on things sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'm clueless. And this gazebo over here. Uh, I always love the use of... Always use little... Eh, words. Words commit. I like the use of candles. Got good lighting here. I really like how you use the chess. I know I'm just... It's such a weird thing, but, you know, when I first got into Paley and, and we got those treasure chests, I'm just like, what do I do with these? And it's one of the first things I notice, you know, how people incorporate them into their builds. It's a it's a casual storage, you know? Absolutely. And, I, you know, it's a sad story. It is, is I, uh, I think I deleted 10 of them when I first started. I'm like, oh, these <gasps> things, they're useless. And I kind of regretted that. That's okay. <laughs> I guess we'll head to the this side first. Cool. And uh, don't don't feel bad about cutting me off. You know, tell me about tell me about your stuff. It's one of the favorite things I like about doing these tours with people on voice, is that you get to tell your side of it. It's like I can ramble all day about you know what I see, but if you got a story behind it, I love to hear it. Oh. So this one right here, I had a nice little restaurant area. And one of your prior uh, tours, Ashlyn, she actually came up with this idea and I thought it was clever. So I went a mile with it and we decided to have a little dance floor here with a stage and a little dining area around it. Dude, this is really cool. If you don't mind me asking where you located at. Uh, in the States? Yeah. Washington State. Oh, nice. I just like you yeah. nailed the, the whole small town like stage five here. Yeah, all we need is dance emotes now and then. <laughs> yeah, come on, Singularity Six. Where are we with the dance emotes? Punch the air. Yeah, this is really cool, and I really like how you use those uh, those ore lanterns. You know the what is it? Um, These gosh. ones right here. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, not the not the braziers, but like the the lights for the tables. It's such a. Oh. The uh, Inborn, Art, Art Deco. There we go. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Was just, it was losing me, like, what what the style is. And I see you have your council of choppas here. Yeah, they're watching over everybody. They've reached quorum. <laughs> All right, we'll move from here. We'll just go check side by side if that's okay with you. Hey, I'm, I'm following you, man. That was good. All right. So over here, I got a little jacuzzi area, little spot hidden up alongside the house or the aquarium. Oh, and uh, yes, I love the plushies. I love the decks here. It's such a creative use of, of them. We need actual decks though. Singularity Six, you know, if you're listening, be nice. But I, I, I really like how you got your, your two. Two Omar's here playing chess and, and you got one person that's keeping score. Right, it looks like they're really focused too. That's they're why I really, really focused. Them. That's awesome. And then oh, over here, I just kind of did themes. This is a bellflower theme house. And then the other side obviously is different. But let's just kind of just, just take a look at like the, the little things, right? Is one of the first things I noticed before we go inside is 
you you decorate your corners like you don't want things to just be too bare and you you mixed up the the wheat and the vase mm -hmm. and you got you got stuff everywhere to look at i just think that's really cool how you incorporate all of that and, and i always like when people do stuff like this just kind of have seating on the porch that's what you do yeah. It seems livable, so that's. I think that's the hardest part is trying to make it feel livable in a virtual game, obviously. And I think that's where the creativity comes from. This is such a soothing room. I like the use of colors here and how you incorporate the fans and indoor hot tub. I mean, living the dream. <laughs> Absolutely, vacation Same garden. garden. Yeah. This is a really nice decorated bathroom. Yeah, my best. Extremely indecisive. Never happy with it, but you know, I'm still trying and still doing what I can. I gotta ask people to come over and look at it just to see what they think. Hey, you know what I say? Don't hate iterate. And right. Also, I mean, sometimes that's just what you gotta do if you're stuck. Just you know step away from it for a bit yeah I, I really like your execution here I it's, definitely appreciate that it's calm calm core <laughs> yeah like I just I, I just I, I appreciate the, the greens and everything and the sight lines and just I, I don't know I feel like I, I walk into this room and I, I smell eucalyptus and mint yeah yeah and then obviously I got a couple little herd of deer over here just to add a little bit of zest into the place. Oh yeah. Derby zest. Love it. And we'll head into, it's more of a display room that I created. I was thinking of doing like a lobby and I guess we'll call it a lobby here. So yeah, I'm gonna step in there for a second, but I like the use of the pumpkins around this, this altar here, your kitsu. You got a little present too recently. Oh, I see that. Yeah, when I did it with the pumpkins, you know, obviously we want to mix the colors really well. And I looked at the pumpkin patches and I was like, goodness, they match the grass on the, uh, right next on the stone. So I was like, oh, that looked great around it. Yeah, absolutely. You nailed it. So this, this house, main house? Uh, this is just more of a display. I have a bunch of display cases with trophies and oh. so forth and extras in here. Yeah. I don't know why I like to do clockwise, but I, this is such a... I've never seen really people do using the display cases in this way, and it's such a practical, practical use. Even if it is for, you know, certain items, but I like how you used them for, for trophies and such, and... Wow. Yeah, that's, that, that, was my, that was my route on it. I've seen going and seeing a bunch of people's places that I didn't see very many of them. So I was like, hmm, how could I implement them into my place? Yeah, that's so cool. That, that's that's something really to take away from it. Oh, I like I like this floating candles leading up to the altar. Yeah, how to get your study on. <laughs> this room really caught my eye because your sight lines framed it wonderfully. You have these two fans and there's there's a lot of symmetry in this room. It's really cool. Uh, that's from the engineer aspect of me. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I understand that. Ah, that's so cool. I do I do enjoy the fact they'd let us do uh, color schemes on this game. Because it would be a lot more complicated if there was only one, you know, the natural color of the items. Of course, right. Yeah, this is... This is very well executed. I like I like how you've incorporated a lot of different colors here, and it's not it's not too matchy matchy, you know. Like you you pull things together. That's really really cool, man. Yeah, thank you. And this is more of the mi mi gosh, I can't even speak miscellaneous room. miscellaneous but yet it also feels like everything belongs 
<laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, I'm really just digging your use of lighting. You you do you do lighting very well. Thank you. Uh -huh. It's a light. It's a experimental. I'll say that much. Right. I think the fact that I'm so indecisive is what truly helps me. It's because I'll move it a hundred times. Like, okay, this spot works. <laughs> and then back here, I made a little garden area, kind of separated the areas in it. It's different, but it was cozy to me. Hey, I mean, that's the name of the game. Absolutely. So I haven't seen anybody do this kind of uh, layout for the gardening areas. I mean, most of the time it's just, okay, I got to do this thing and it's going to be efficient. But the way that you laid out everything, especially with the, the anvil in the center, I mean, that's like, that looks sacred. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It does. Well, it is kind of with our tools. You got to fix them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but you you framed it really nicely with those with those trees. That's cool, man. And then you have the little uh, plots over here. That's so cool. And then over here, I did the dragon tide setup. This is basically basically a mirror of the bellflower. Yeah. This color scheme is just, it's cool in more ways than one. But just like you, you walk into this, you know, it looks kind of like a, like an icy temple. But I don't get any, I don't get any kind of, uh, mirror. Like it, it feels completely different, even though. You know, you probably have the layout very similar. But that's cool though. It's a it's a nice it's a really nice showcase. Totally these totally feel like model homes. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, they didn't a lot of them don't really look lived in for the most part. Although over at the Bellflower, I did move some of the chairs so it looked like people were in and out. Yeah, it's it's uh very nicely staged. <laughs> Then over here, I the first game room I've seen on the game, I said, heck, I'm going to go ahead and try to make one. Awesome. Wipe your feet. <laughs> oh, no, this is this is very well executed here. This is a proper game room. I haven't seen a game room yet. It's like I've seen people put the, the games and stuff, but the way that you have the seating and the board games, like I feel like you you'd come here, get some boba tea. Play some mm -hmm. games, hit the arcades. Yeah, but you can do it with a group of people too. So yeah. it's just kind of warming for that. This is cool. And I figured the skateboards would be interesting in here too as well. Yeah, if it's if it's the uh, the the energy of this room for sure. It's a really nice touch. It's very, very, feels very nostalgic. And then over here, I just basically make a little, another diner area with displays of food and so forth, because I have a cake party right through the trees in the back there. Oh, now this is the overflow. You know, if you ever go to like a restaurant and they have like an upstairs area and you're just like, how do I get up there? <laughs> only, only the the special people go up there. VIP. <laughs> VIP. That's right. And then it just leads into a place where we can do cake parties. Let's check out this cake party area. Cake party areas are, are they are always entertaining uh, to me, interesting to me because you look at them and the moment that you see them if you've seen one of them they they fit they fit a pattern you know to to a certain degree right but right. what oppresses me is how people still make them look nice but in my mind and i think you can agree being an engineer 
you look at this and you're thinking brutal efficiency because that's what i see i see brutal efficiency <laughs> it is it's tedious <laughs> yeah tedious you got you got people you know barking orders and nobody slowing up production well i know in my mind i was thinking it's like if singularity can give us signs you know where i can assign hey this is where you do your leaves this is where you do your batter and just kind of put a picture of it next to each individual table yeah yeah that's that's a cool idea that's a cool idea um kind of a, a role-based setup that's that's a right yeah that's that's interesting feedback i like i like that all of these uh plushies are having a little pool party they are they're a little lonely over here i need to come hang out with them more hey they need you know what they need they need cake yes they do <laughs> but yeah that's basically the whole plot here no way yeah we've seen everything we have haven't yeah. we I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm catching my bearings <laughs> wow that's a lot to unpack really is like you you got everything it's very well decorated oh that's a nice touch i mean it's such a subtle thing but the lighting like you got to really look for it but to see that there i mean that's that's a really cool thing yeah i figured it'd be neat at night for pictures then you could really do the contrast of the player's face it was just something clever i thought of i that's yeah nailed it so yep the q a time where would be the coziest place on your plot or in your house I'm going to have to say either the room inside the main lobby the, that has the double beds. Cool. With all the fans in it or both the gazebos by far. Okay. Well, we'll uh, let's pick one and we'll do our Q&A. Yeah! How long have you been playing Paleo? It's one of my favorite first questions to ask. Um, tried to get on and closed beta uh for two weeks and me and my wife waited and we got in the day before open beta awesome awesome yeah i can totally tell you've been in pele for a while and you have incorporate like you've spent a lot of time on your plots i it that's one of the first things that you that that i noticed what i i really appreciate like i said is is your use of lighting and and colors and everything like that um so, you know, given that we, we've, we've touched on a couple of these things, but what do you feel is a decoration that would take some of your designs to the next level? A decoration to take it to the next level. Yeah, it could be wallpaper, piece of furniture. Um, to be honest, uh, I was talking to a couple of people about it, is if Singularity can give us the shrubbery, the bushes out in Kilima. You know, when you're randomly walking through there, give us some of those aspects. I can bring more of a garden aspect and make it more lush. I think it's missing lushness. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. So my next question in involves some of the the backstory, I guess, for, for your plot. Like, does your... Some some of the people that I've toured, they have a backstory for their character, uh, or or just some of the the builds and stuff like that. Do you have any? Do you have anything of that nature? Uh, not in this plot. The next plot that we uh, do a tour through, I will have more. It's more intimate. That one is compared to this one. It was more of just th uh, throwing stuff together, doing personal themes one at a time, mm -hmm. and tackling them awesome yeah yeah i i just i i love how you have two different like sides and and you do lots of showcasing on, on your plot um i just this is just really i'm blown away really um just kind of how you have just set up all of these different scenes like the game room uh both of your museums and all of the showcases that you have, like the model homes for all the different furniture sets, I think those are just so well executed. What I would have to ask is like, do you feel, we, we touched on this a little bit, but do you feel like uh, 
there's a certain furniture style that you'd like to see more of. I would like, <laughs> it sounds funny, but I'd like a mix between the Bellflower and the Dragon Tide. Just get something, it's just, it reminds me of medieval kind of, medieval Ooh. and more, you know, 1800s English looking. Yeah, something a little bit more gothic, but not, not like witchy. Correct. Yeah. That's, Somewhere that's, in there. It's, it's very nice, but it's not over the edge. Right. Something that's, I understand what you're saying. It's, it's kind of along the same style of the Phoenix Trines, like that very high fantasy type of uh, style, right? Yes, that would be great. Like, yeah. Like, uh, like marble, I guess, would be it. There we go. That's a good idea. That might be something that I would like implemented is a lot of Ma marble countertops, marble bathroom, marble flooring. That would be fantastic. So what, what sorts of activities do you enjoy doing uh, in Paley as far as like the, the gameplay aspect of it? Are you more uh, of a fisher hunter? I was quite the fisher and bug hunter, as you can see. But oh, yes. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm fully retired, but I'm pretty close. Uh, it's just, I will do those things with others. However, personally, I love to lead uh, low Flow farms get a bunch of people on a server going and then coordinate it and get it going that brings me a lot of joy that's cool yeah that's one of the things i i appreciate about paleo too is just they have opened up a lot of uh, in terms of like cozy gameplay most of the cozy games are either limited multiplayer or they they're single player you know so right. the fact that they open it up to be massively multiplayer and people can just hang out in droves has been a, a very powerful thing and that's you know that's what drew me and my wife to the game was the fact that we could be a community and i mean quoted i love pvp games but this is a little bit more personal I, i've used the word intimate but it's more intimate it's more to showcase what you what you like and you can learn stuff from people just by looking at their designs in my opinion yeah i i totally agree with that and you know one of the one of the things that's been fun for me just kind of doing these these tours is seeing how people have used them and incorporated things just like you said uh, a little earlier into their designs before before I come over so it's just kind of like each each future tour that I do they've taken little notes from from these tours so it's it's been fun for me to watch you know how that's unfolded right yeah well thank you so much for having me over it's been a blast i totally dig your outfit and everything that you've designed on on this plot and uh i i'm i'm excited to see you know like you you said you know before we even started you're just like hey i'm ready for the next one <laughs> so yeah that's I'm awesome going to say, i'm going to say my next plot's going to be a lot better than this one. Ah, oh, man i can't even imagine i really can't even imagine all right y'all if y'all have enjoyed this so far uh leave a comment tell me what you thought make sure to like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you for the next one all right take care everyone Bye bye